This video will show how to avoid all the attacks from the wolf boss. The wolf boss is called Boreas, but also called Andreas. I'm not sure which is which, so I'll just refer to him as the wolf boss from now on. Anyways, the first part will show a solo kill with an underleveled Amber. Then I'll go over the attacks that I initially did not show. Lastly, I will show how to cheese phase 1 of this boss even though the cheese tactic makes it longer to kill the boss. I'll split this fight into 3 phases. Phase 1 will be his unchanged form while above 50% health. Phase 2 will be after he transforms and merges with the anemo element. And Phase 3 is when he's under 20% HP and summons little wolves that attack you every 3 seconds. The best distance to fight him in Phase 1 is mid-range. If you are too close, you won't be able to dodge his melee AoE with an ice circle. I tried many times and still cannot consistently ice ring through the ice damage. He has two attacks with the ice circle. One is the AoE spin around him, and the other is the leap if the circle isn't directly under him. For both cases, you need to run away from the ice. I was not able to time my dash and iframe through the ice damage, so the best solution was to just run away. If you are too far, he will charge at you in a straight line. Just dash to the side to avoid. He won't use this attack if you stay mid-range or closer. His most common attack is a simple claw swipe. There is a noticeable startup to the swipe and gives you a lot of time to ready your dash. About 2 minutes into the fight, he will dash to the edge of the arena and charge towards you. If you have an archer, you can prep a charge shot and hit the boss while he's running at you. He is invincible while running with the blue after image, so you must wait till he stops. Also, remember to dodge to the side after shooting to avoid his tackle. At the start of phase 2, he will create a blue spiral aura to initiate his icicle rain. This will cause an ice shard to fall on your location every second. This attack alone is easy to dodge. The hard part is matching his icicle dodge timing with the melee attack timing, since the boss will still attack you at the same time. He will use icicle rain again about 90 seconds later if he is still alive. From phase 2 onwards, the outside half of the arena will be covered in ice and you will take damage if you stand on it. I like phase 2 more than phase 1 since you don't need to worry about running away from the huge ice circles anymore. I prefer to stay close to the boss in this phase to limit his attacks to a claw and tail swipe. The claw have the same startup and dodge timing as phase 1. The new tail swipe requires an earlier dodge. When you see his back leg lift off the ground, I perform my dodge. He also only does a tail swipe if you are on the side or behind the boss. He won't do it if you are directly in front of him. The last 20% of the fight can be called phase 3 or an enrage phase. This is pretty much the same as phase 2, but there will be small wolves pouncing towards you every 3 seconds. Everything else in the fight stays the same. The mini wolves just make it harder to dodge some of the boss's attacks. Just keep on dodging and attacking until the boss is dead. After this kill, I'll show his range attacks and a way to cheese phase 1.
In phase 2, if you are too far from the boss, he will shoot projectiles at you instead of using his melee claw swipe. There are two forms of projectiles, a blue one that shoots a wave directly in front of him, and a green version that shoots three sonic waves in a small cone. Dodge the blue one by running to the side. Dodge the green version by squeezing between the waves or delaying your dash to iframe through the green projectiles. From phase 2 onwards, the outside half of the arena will be covered in ice and you will take damage if you stand on it. Lastly, he has a green hound that covers all the safe spots in the arena. I don't think there's a way to dodge this attack. You either get damaged by the Anemo Wind if too close, or by the Cairo Ice if far away. It only does minimal damage, so we just keep attacking the boss and treat this Howl as a free damage window to attack. The last thing to talk about is a method to cheese phase 1. Just run to the arena entrance and climb up the right side. You can go all the way to the top or just stop on the ledge halfway. From this spot, you can shoot at the boss and he won't be able to attack you. I don't really like this cheese since it takes longer to kill the boss. I prefer to be more active during the fight. After 2 minutes, the boss will still create an ice ring and force you back into the middle. Because of this ring, you won't be able to use this cheese for phase 2 since you will take constant damage on the outside. And that's pretty much all you need to know to defeat the Wolf King Boreas or Andreas or the Wolf Boss. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>